So in the previous lesson, uh, I introduced the F test in the context of uh, of testing the joint significance of the model. So in this lesson, then I'll explain how the same kind of F test procedure can be also used for testing theoretical restrictions. And uh, in econometrics, this is commonly known as the Cho test uh, after econometrician uh, Gregory Cho. So I'll start with first with the with the general setting. So now we are not anymore testing uh, joint significance, but rather we have uh, we have uh, essentially two alternative models. One is more more general than the other one. So we call it uh, uh, the more general model, unrestricted model, and we assume that it includes uh, capital K plus Q parameters. And then we have a restricted model, which only includes K parameters. I'll give you a uh, more empirical example of this using dummy variables shortly. But I'll first uh, walk you through the general case. So in other words, the restricted model has uh, Q parameters less than the more general unrestricted model. And uh, the null hypothesis is always that, uh, that uh, the parameter restrictions are correct. So in some sense, uh, it would mean that this, uh, all these Q parameters are equal to zero. An alternative hypothesis is that, uh, that parameter restrictions are incorrect. So that means that at least some of those Q parameters are non-zero. And uh, like in the F-test of joint significance, we can then utilize our coefficient of determination, which is our measure of uh, empirical fit. So, so um, we, can, we can estimate the, uh, both models, uh, unrestricted model and the restricted one. And we can look at, uh, okay, what is the empirical fit of the, of the model? And uh, if you recall the properties of the R-squared statistic, uh, then obviously, the unrestricted model will always have uh, have uh, at least as good uh, empirical fit as the restricted model because uh, you don't really lose anything by by adding q additional parameters so r squared can never decrease if you if you add more parameters to the model so therefore there is this property that uh, the r squared statistic of the unrestricted model must be always at least as large as the r squared statistic of the restricted version of the model Notice that these two models need to be nested in the sense that the, that the restricted model uh, must be a special case of the of the more general model obtained by setting those particular Q parameters equal to zero, but all these these other parameters are, are shared by both models. Okay. So uh, uh, here's then the test statistic that we can use in this. So, so we can we can modify this uh, F test that we that we introduced in the previous lesson to this uh, this particular case. So now the F statistic is obtained by comparing the R squared uh, statistics of these two two models. So so remember that uh, the R squared statistic of the unrestricted uh, model is always greater than or, or e greater or e greater than or equal to that of the restricted model. So therefore, this difference of R squared statistic of the unrestricted and the restricted model in the nominator of this ratio will be always greater than or equal to zero. And as the degrees of freedom, we then use the Q. So that's the number of additional parameters that this, this unrestricted model was using. And then we compare it to the empirical fit of the unrestricted model. So that's one minus R squared statistic of the unrestricted model. And there we have the degrees of freedom n minus capital K minus Q. So that's the number of observations minus number of observ number of parameters in the unrestricted model. So in a sense, we with this test statistic, we are looking that, okay, how, how much is the uh, increase in the empirical fit uh, relative to the to the fit of the unrestricted model. And uh, if it turns out that this, these Q additional parameters don't really add any, any explanatory power whatsoever, then this F statistic should be, should be very small. And uh, if the null hypothesis is true that, uh, that, uh, that these uh, parameter restrictions are correct, so that would mean that these Q parameters are actually in, are in fact uh, equal to zero, then 
if the null hypothesis is true, then this uh, f statistic calculated this way follows the f distribution with the uh, degrees of freedom q and n minus k minus q. Okay, so the, we can apply same kind of procedure as the as in the case of the joint significance. However, in this case, we need to we need to uh, fit these both models to the data and and uh, and uh, we can, for example, then calculate this uh, f statistic manually and compare it to the to the f distribution. Some statistical software like uh, like uh, Stata, I believe, also can uh, can do it. Uh, but but you need to then use certain certain commands to to, to calculate. It. So let's let's get to this application. Uh, let's get to this test uh, in, in by means of an application. So. In the previous theme, I introduced you you dummy variables, uh, and um, I noticed also that uh, there can be uh, categorical variables that have uh, multiple levels. So we used multiple dummy variables. Uh, so uh, so then we could also then then uh, apply this uh, this test uh, this f test uh, for testing joint significance of of that kind of categorical variables. I think it helps to like have a more more specific example. So here is the regression results of the hedonic model of housing market uh, that we that we discussed in the context of dummy variables. And here I have highlighted uh, with red color the R squared statistic of the of this uh, model, but also the five bottom rows where we have the five location dummies. So, so I highlighted here these uh, five different uh, districts of ESPO with the, with the dummy variables, and then the reference category was all other all other districts. Okay. So, if we now look at the t statistics or p values or confidence intervals, we see that uh, that uh, two of these uh, district dummies are significant at five percent uh, significance level, whereas uh, Three districts uh, are not significant, and uh, and uh, in in many cases the effects are very small or close to zero. Okay, so uh, notice that uh, that uh, in some sense these district dummies uh, are working together to represent the impact of the location. So we might be interested in not only testing that does uh, uh, Tapiola district have a significantly different impact on prices. But uh, rather, we could we could be interested in testing that are these district dummies jointly significant in some sense that is the, is the location uh, important explanatory variable as such, not just a specific location, but the location in general. So therefore, we would we would want to uh, test the uh, joint significance of these uh, five district dummies. So recall that the F statistic. Uh, indicated here that that of course tests the joint significance of all of the parameters of the model including the intercept and size and square meters and so on and so on but now we are particularly interested in the joint significance of subset of explanatory variables which i have indicated here with the with the red color so for that purpose we can we can apply this uh, um, f test of theoretical districtions uh, also known as the cho test so uh, for comparison, we also need to then run the, the regression model without those five district dummies. So, so here we have also some other dummy variables, but I have only excluded those five district dummies. And here notice uh, the uh, R-square statistic is uh, 0.62, whereas uh, in, the, in the previous uh, model with the, with, the, with the district dummies, it was uh, uh, considerably higher. I go back slide for a moment. So it was uh, 0 .0 0 0.76 in the more general. So this is what we call the unrestricted model. Okay, this is the more general unrestricted model. And then for comparison, here is the restricted model where we have uh, uh, excluded all those district dummies. So in other words, we set the coefficients of those district dummies equal to zero. And that results as a as a notable decrease in the R-squared statistic. The question then is, is this uh, 
decrease in uh, in uh, empirical fit uh, statistically significant or not so that we can test with the with the f test so the null hypothesis here is that all of those district dummies uh, are have uh, in fact zero coefficients and the alternative hypothesis is that at least at least some of these these uh, categories have have a significant impact and uh, this is what we have already done that we estimated the the model that includes those uh, those uh, district dummies and the same model without those district dummies and and also we noticed already that um, this r squared statistic uh, that includes the five dummy variables uh, uh, was much greater than that of the uh, that uh, without so this uh, this uh, subscript d refers to the model with dummy variables and w is without dummy variables so then we can just apply the same f test statistic that uh, that i introduced before and then we need to uh, compare it to the critical value of the f distribution and uh, i mentioned again that here this uh, uh, if you use the excel to to calculate the critical value uh, the probability is the first argument that's the significance level for example we can use five percent significance level uh, the first degree of freedom is q which is the number of uh, uh, number of um, parameters that the unrestricted model has which are excluded from the restricted model so here the q is five and then n minus k minus q is the number of uh, uh, observations minus number of parameters in the unrestricted model so here's the the in on this slide i have um, i have um, summarized all the necessary Im information to calculate the the, uh, the test statistic so uh, recall that uh, the r squared statistic of the unrestricted model was 0 0.76 and that of the restricted model was 0 0.62 so then uh, on this slide I, I don't go through all of uh, the details in 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 particular so inserting all of those informations and the degrees of freedom to the test statistic f we find that the the, the test statistic is equal to 72.5 and then this value will be compared to the critical value of the f distribution and uh, we have a decrease of freedom five so five comes from the number of uh, uh, number of those uh, district dummy variables that uh, the restricted model doesn't have but the unrestricted model includes and then we have uh, 627 degrees of freedom that was the number of observations minus number of parameters in the unrestricted model so uh, we can find from the statistical tables or from excel that the critical value with the at the five percent uh, significance level is 2.23 so now we compare then the test statistic to the to the critical value and obviously the test statistic is is much larger here than the than the critical value so therefore it means that we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that indeed those uh, district dummy variables are jointly significant so in other words the location location does matter and um, here it would be also also my advice that uh, because we from the beginning uh, our purpose was to model the the if there's difference because of the location we did not uh, have any particular location in mind so so any any location and uh, we find that this uh, location is indeed uh, jointly significant uh, so therefore i wouldn't i wouldn't advise to to delete or exclude those uh, those district dummies that uh, then later turned out to be insignificant i would i would maintain all of those uh, all of those district dummies so the f test uh, f test uh, indicates that indeed the location is uh, uh, is a significant factor in the housing prices so there wouldn't be any need to 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 then go and delete all of the insignificant uh, dummy variables because then then uh, this might cause for example some some uh, omitted variable bias and then there's also so-called pretest bias that i will i will discuss a little bit later
Okay. So so this is one reason why the why the Cho test and this kind of testing joint significance of a, of a group of variables can be very useful if you, if you use multiple variables that are related to the in some sense the same categorical variable or same same phenomenon more broadly. But also also this kind of uh, kind of testing can be can be also used in many other other type of contexts for the for the specification testing. So in the next lesson, I will go to uh, in more detail to the to the modeling strategies, and I will warn you about the uh, possibility of omitted variable bias. Thanks for your attention, and see you on the next lesson.